Police have released new images of Abdul Shakur Azidi, who they are still hunting in connection with an attack on a woman and her two children using a corrosive substance. It has left the mother with life-changing injuries. More details have emerged of Azidi's movements before and after the attack in South London on Wednesday evening. Our Home Affairs correspondent Daniel Sanford has the latest. These are the latest pictures released by detectives of the subject of their manhunt. Abdul Shakur Azedi in the King's Cross London Underground Station on Wednesday night. He's suspected of being responsible for a horrific incident in which a 31-year-old woman and her two children were burned by a highly corrosive liquid. The mother remains very poorly in hospital and she's sedated at the moment. We expect that those injuries will be life-changing. Thankfully, we've had an update from the hospital that the two young children that were with her, their injuries aren't as serious as first thought and they are not likely to be life-changing. They remain with mum in the care of the NHS. Police believe Abdul Shakur Azedi left Newcastle in the very, very early hours of Wednesday morning. By 6.30 in the morning, his car was in Tooting in South London. That evening, the vehicle was in Croydon and Streatham and at 7.25 on Wednesday night, the attack happened in Clapham. At 7.33, he got on the tube and headed north to King's Cross, arriving at 8 o'clock. He moved fast. Within an hour and a half of the corrosive substance being thrown, Abdul Shakur Azedi was leaving this Tesco Express near King's Cross. It's some six miles from Lessar Avenue, where the attack happened. At this point, he had a very obvious injury below his right eye but he didn't get a train back to Newcastle. Instead, at nine o'clock, he returned to the Tube and the Victoria Line, heading south again. Abdul, you clearly have got some very significant injuries. We've seen the images. You need some medical help. So do the right thing and hand yourself in. But assuming he won't give himself up, what will police be doing to find him apart from searching through CCTV? If he's using a mobile phone, um, then that also helps uh, uh, track him. Um, and of, obviously any other, any other footprint he has, like finance, but also speaking to people that know him. It's thought Abdul Shakur Azadi arrived in the UK in 2016 in the back of a lorry. He claimed asylum and was refused the same year. In 2018, he pleaded guilty in Newcastle to sexual assault and exposure. He was given a suspended sentence totalling 45 weeks and was put on the sex offenders register for 10 years. He claimed asylum again and was refused by the Home Office again. But in October 2020, a tribunal in Newcastle overruled that and granted him asylum. Tonight, police confirmed that they have searched three properties in Newcastle, including this building, and in one of them, they found two empty containers with corrosive warnings on them. Daniel Sandford, BBC News. And Daniel is here with me. I mean, it is nearly 48 hours on, Daniel. Do you have a sense that the police have any idea where he is? Well, first of all, I don't think anyone's panicking at this point because it's a different kind of manhunt to some of those we've seen in the past where you might be looking for a terrorist suspect, for example, who you might be worried that they're going to do further harm to further people. It looked as if when these corrosive substances were thrown on Wednesday, it was targeted at some specific people, although other people did get affected by it. So I think there won't be a great sense of panic, but there will be frustration that they haven't got him yet because clearly these very, very useful CCTV images and a very, very unusual look person because of the damage around his eye so they'll be frustrated that they haven't got there more quickly I think there'll be an assumption that somehow he's kind of pulled himself up out of the CCTV uh, site and is maybe holing up somewhere and they'll be hoping that eventually he'll either have to free himself from where he's hiding or they'll get to him all right Daniel Sanford thank you